Today we are going to make some spiced fish cakes. Fish cakes go down well with everybody, with grown-ups, with children. And we are going to make simple fish cakes and give it a nice interesting sauce. So we start with making a dressing for the fish cakes. We put in some mint leaves. I don't want the mint leaves too finely chopped because I like the chunkiness in my sauces. I'm going to put in a bit of green chilli paste. Please put in as much as you like because it can be hot. Some lime, lime zest, some coconut milk. Whisk this around beautifully so that everything is incorporated. Some salt. Some pepper. And last but not the least, Chef Sunshine's Ranch Dressing. This is a dressing you can very soon buy online. And we are going to put it in. It's minty, it's uh, chewy, it's flavory, it's got cream, yogurt. And I would put in approximately two tablespoonful of my ranch dressing. And mix it up. Voila, that is done. Now the dressing for our fish cakes is ready. So we are now going to get on with our fish cakes. We have some mashed potatoes and what I am using is a fish which has got a very bad name. I am using, yes, I'm a chef and I'm using basa. I love basa fish for fish cakes for children and stuff because they're not strong in smell and they take on other flavors very beautifully. So I am, I have cooked the basa in some salt water and all I'm doing is I'm simply flaking it into the mix. I don't want a paste. I want some chunky bits in it. So I have mixed the basa and the potatoes. I will put in a little lime juice, a little chili flakes, some pepper, some salt. And I'm going to go in with my fingers and I'm going to mix them all together very well. I think we'll need a little more salt if I'm not wrong. When this mix has been made, we add two eggs and two, two whole eggs, means whites and yolks, in order to bind. Now what I'm going to do is I've got a tray prepared and line. I am going to take bits of this mix and just roll them in my hand like this and put it on and press it a little. We will not be bread crumbing this or putting it in egg because the egg is already there and the potato will make a very nice crust. Once I finish making them, I am going to put them in the fridge for about 20 minutes. So our fish cakes have been in the refrigerator for 20 minutes I, because I'm not using any other binder in this cake. I'm straight going to put it into the frying pan. So I want them to be a little more firm when I'm going to fry them. So here we have a hot pan and we'll pour on some oil. Beautiful. I again mention it that I like using a flat pan because then everything cooks evenly when you're frying stuff. So all we will do is pick up our, very gently, pick up our fish cakes and put them in. Please don't be tempted to put in too many at a time because it brings the temperature of the oil down and the fish cakes that don't cook, they steam. So, here are our soft, lovely fish cakes. We simply serve them out. We pour on our beautiful dill sauce and garnish with some fresh coriander and some lime slices. Those are spicy fish cakes ready. 